Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Uh, I decided to start vlogging and uh, to do a series of videos. It will be about traveling, about cycling trips and so on. And uh, I hope you will enjoy it. Uh, but so far I had some issues in the first video. This is actually my first vlog and uh, the first video I ever published. So uh, unfortunately there were some problems with the sound, uh, but I hope this will not prevent you from uh, enjoying the content of, of this uh, cycling trip or solo bike parking actually. And welcome to the channel. Hello everyone. Uh, this is my first vlog and my first solo bikepacking tour so i started just recently so it's around like six kilometers now i will not go far i just want to test all the equipment and how it works what i'm missing and what i took extra uh, that's kind of the goal for this and just to experience these Bike, 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 bike in. After packing, packing the stuff, of course, there is a feeling that you forget something or already forgot. But at the same time, I would say that this pretty nice feeling is some like you know, small excitement that you are going to the trip and you don't know how it goes, how. I mean, even if you're prepared, it can go wrong. So, very nice feeling just before starting the trip. Super nice feeling right now. I thought that, okay, it takes like, you know, one hour to pack all the stuff and then you just go no <laughs> even though i knew what what i want to take and what i should take it still took like two and a half hours just to properly pack to proper bags to remember where i put what to check everything and so on And now I will show you the lake. It's not that one where I'm going, but this is pretty nice and big. So it's very dry weather now and some firefighter going somewhere into the park so probably there was open fire or someone made open fire so please don't do or don't make open fires if it is too hot weather just easier to use either proper grill places or portable stove so that you don't burn the forest be careful with that and take care of nature downhill like it was around 60 kilometers per hour going down and I was not just even pedaling before <laughs> super nice downhill now it will be more uphills of course
Okay, now gravel. Gravel part. The problem with this gravel, if there is a car passing by, it just makes a lot of dust. That's not so nice to breathe. But otherwise the road is pretty good. Based on the on the scenery you see, can you guess in which country I'm cycling now? Leave your comment below and it would be pretty interesting to see if you can guess it just based based on the nature. Actually yeah, I've seen one guy on YouTube. He was like you know checking photos of different places from like completely like I know unexpected or unusual places and then he was guessing the country so for you it may be a bit easier because you'll have a video and maybe some signs or something will give you a hint where I am but that would be pretty interesting leave your comment below When there are no cars, it's pretty good. But when there are cars, it's pretty bad. And I feel a lot of sand in, in my mouth. But anyway, we are not in a desert. So it should be fine. Like I have seen this trip in, in the desert by Ruslan Veren so I guess he got much more sand during that trip than I just during these several kilometers actually I would be also interested if you let me know in the comments uh, have you ever done bike packing and where do you usually go? What other distances do you go like from point A to point B or circle route? I would be curious to, to know and if you can share your experience, that would be great. Okay, so finally we arrived to the place where we will be sleeping. So this is pretty good place as you can see. Sunny and my bike is over there. I will put a tent there. And there is also a grill place here. Even like someone was here just recently, there is still some fire left. So even though I don't need fire, I will be cooking on the stove, but this is pretty cozy, let's say it like this. And there was another place uh, where I wanted to stay. It was just near the lake, uh, but there were too many cars. There is a beach, people swimming there. So I just decided to go to come here a little bit up. And here is no one. Looks like I'm alone here. And it's maybe like several hundred meters to 
to the lake down down that road so should be fine i have some water still but uh i will get probably a little bit more later on so you can see the the scenery is very good and i, I can enjoy sun in the evening maybe not so much in the morning because of the trees and here is my bike uh, so I can can show you the setup a little bit later but this is how it looks like so okay let's stop talking and start start walking and making the camp that's a priority Uh, pretty warm but mosquitoes are crazy they are just eating you so but yeah I was just thinking uh, that I will forget something and yes as you can guess I forgot something so I can show you I took uh, this stuff to to fix my bike and just guess what I forgot I forgot keys from this lock, so basically I cannot fix the bike. I mean, shouldn't be a problem, probably I will put the bike just a little bit under the tent uh, or nearby, so it should be fine, there is no one. But that's pretty funny, <laughs> because it's like, I know, one kilo weight, just carrying for nothing, which, which I cannot use, so pretty funny. Uh, but I was also thinking that, like, if you if you put your camp not near the lake and the lake is just several hundred meters away it's probably would be quite nice to have some like the bag water bag so that you can go to lake get like i know 10 liters of water bring it here and just just uh, use it during the whole night and morning so that would be pretty hand handy so that's that's my thoughts for now but it's like half past 8 pm uh still we have some sun and here is my setup finally. So the the tent. Uh, then the, there is a bike. And inside the tent uh, I have put already a sleeping bag and some clothes for night if, if it is cold. So sleeping bag, sleeping mat. And yeah, that's pretty it. So I will probably now just figure out something with a bike and I uh, will go pick up the water from the lake so and then we'll have dinner so while waiting uh, the water what is really sad I forgot cookies so I will have tea with nothing it's fine but I just prepared them and I was packing and I forgot them so two two things which I forgot but will be clever next time Yeah, even though I like uh, when there is no one and uh, no facilities, no like just just wild uh, nature, but it's pretty nice when there is some like grill place and table and a bench. Pretty luxury feels feels luxury. I think there is also over there garbage bin and uh, wood, chopped wood, so if, if you need uh, to make fire in the grill and also there are toilets over there, so it's like at home but just sleeping in a forest. So now can a little bit relax, it was still a kind of 
right in, then finding a place, uh, setting up a camp, solving problem with water, thinking about what to do with a bike, uh, while waiting for, for the water to boil, have some minutes, and then probably we'll have dinner, enjoy the sunset, uh, maybe fly the drone, just to, to see the lake and to show you guys. So, uh, that's the plan for today, and maybe I just check in some social media in there before night or reading a book and and just going to sleep uh, I really hoping to have very good sleep so because of the fresh air and uh, let's see how the packing in the morning will be because I guess it will be different even though of course I will have less stuff like less food and so on but uh, I packed pretty tight everything so I need to pack everything tight again when when going back otherwise i can spend a lot of time on this but i think it should be fine i will manage i got uh, most of my gear uh, as a presents actually asked a friend of mine to give these uh, presents to me so because i wanted to do what to try backpacking so that's how i got it but i can show you later on uh, what what setup i have and uh, how how i build it now probably it will change uh, or evolve this time, but now now it is like this. So looks pretty okay and pretty hot. It's a pretty good one. Rice and pulled pork tastes like like homemade food basically. So these dehydrated food packs actually quite convenient. So, but yeah, bon appetit. I had dinner, tea, hot tea. Uh, brought some wood, uh, made a little bit more fire. Actually, I'm staying near this grill place because there is less mosquitoes, otherwise you go somewhere and mosquitoes just eating you. So, I'm waiting for the sunset, which will be like in half an hour. I uh, want to make some photos with drone and probably after that uh, I will go to sleep. It was pretty good night, it's 8 a.m. I woke up around 5 and then decided just to sleep a little bit more. Uh, it was a little bit cold actually, but so far it was okay. So now time for breakfast and uh, coffee time.
time to be a barista. Let's see how how the coffee tastes. Oh, it's quite strong, but it's quite okay. It has some acidity, so maybe not my favorite, but it's, it's good coffee. So it's nice that you can get proper coffee uh, when camping and when hiking. So. Pretty nice idea, I like it. And also the porridge is ready. After the breakfast it would be time to, to cycle back. Even though uh, even though it's not so big distance, it's just like 20 kilometers. But uh, after breakfast I'm just packing and, and cycle back home. Hmm. Porridge is very good. Even on the water, it is it is good. Okay, so I'm packed. Uh, surprisingly, everything fit in from the first time. I didn't need to repack. Ready to go home. It was very good night, a little bit cold uh, during the night, but I just used my thermal clothes and it was okay. So I had very good breakfast, uh, very nice impressions. Like you, you really, when you come to unknown place and first time bike packing, you you may be a little bit nervous, excited. Don't know what to expect, how it goes, but in in the morning you feel like you have a peace feeling, so you relaxed fully, and you had good rest, very nice impressions, and I would say it's it's uh, very relaxed today, so. I would be really eager to try longer routes and uh, bike biking for several days because I assume it will be a little bit different experience. It was good to understand uh, what what I need else from the equipment. Uh, otherwise, everything what I have is fine. Again, okay, sleeping bag maybe it's too thin, but I think it should work for summer time. So uh, I will use this one for now. And uh, so I enjoyed it very much and I hope uh, when you watch this video you will also enjoy it as much as I do and this will also motivate you to go bikepacking yourself because this is like a very nice experience and uh, see, see you in the future episodes.